Hey guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks back with another sneaker review. Today I have an old school style sneaker, the Air Skylon 2. So this sneaker took a while to release on the sneakers app and on Nike.com. Uh, sneakers and stuff had these a while before and I just kind of waited it out until Nike got them. Uh, they had a few different colorways that dropped initially for women. That was about two weeks before the men's release. Uh, this one is by far my favorite and I went for this one as soon as they released. I think there's a few new colorways that they added onto Nike.com that I saw. Uh, but all of them are essentially the same. It's all this like off-whitish, uh, like suede, nubuck, felt material with some uh, mesh and then a different gradient pattern here on the mid panel. So they have like a red one, a yellow one. Uh, I think there's like a darker blue and red one. Uh, but this one here is definitely my favorite. I like the purple and the blue on it. The way it goes into that old school text right there. This is Air Skyline 2. Your Nike Air on the back. Pretty much the same here on the lateral side. And the best part is these were pretty cheap. I think they were about $95 to $110, somewhere around that range. Um, pretty easy to scoop up. I had no issues picking them up. And I would say on this pair to go a half size up. I got 11 and a half, which is my true size, and they were pretty snug. Uh, ended up returning them and getting a 12, and these fit a lot better. So let's go ahead and take a pretty good look at these. Uh, like I said, it's like an eggshell color. Uh, there's no really pure white besides the laces on them. Uh, you get this, it's like a felt material, the same that's on the Air Max 1 anniversaries that dropped. Uh, and then here you get this, it's kind of like a canvas material, and then mesh here in the toe box for breathability. Um, you get the Nike Air here on the tongue, a purple insole, and then it goes from purple and fades into a light blue color. Uh, really, really nice, very retro. Um, there's a few different sneakers that Nike was dropping that were kind of retro style. I can't really remember off the top of my head. Uh, I know last year it was an Icarus, and this year they're doing the Air Skyline 2. This one by far is my favorite silhouette between the two, uh, and that's why I went ahead and waited and opted for these. And like I said, this one's my favorite colorway. I was thinking about maybe pulling the trigger on the other ones, but I think they were too similar. Uh, pretty much the base is the same. Seeing them this forward, like from this angle, you wouldn't know the difference until you turned it this way. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick with these. These are a really, really clean sneaker. The midsole is nothing crazy to brag about. It's really just... Uh, a file on foam and then I'm pretty sure there's a little air unit inside somewhere in here because they are called the Air Skyline. Traction, you can get your waffle pattern, kind of similar to an Air Max 1. Uh, and that's really it. I mean, this is pretty much the technology they used back in the day. I'm pretty sure my dad had a pair of these or something like that. Uh, but to be quite honest with you guys, these are very comfortable sneakers. I would say they're more comfortable than something like an Air Max 95, Air Max 90. I think these are more comfortable, definitely lighter. And for something like this to be technology back in the day, I can see why this was considered a running shoe. Uh, by today's standards, it's probably a little bit too thick and not as breathable and too heavy. Um, but honestly, for a casual wear sneaker, it's very light. Um, it's not on the bulky side. It's pretty tapered off. I mean, it's a really, really clean sneaker. So let me know down in the comments what you think of the Air Skyline 2. I know Sean Weatherspoon was one of the influencers that got these early and was able to start posting pictures of them. And when I saw that they were dropping these again, I mean, initially I thought he found these at the thrift or something like that, and I was like, man, that's a pretty good find. And then when he put releasing soon, I knew I had to get them. Hey, but that is it. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time.